Hi, this is David Lafreniere, a software developer for the Jazz SEM team. In this video, I will demonstrate how to accept multiple change sets with a gap in the RTC Eclipse client. In this example, we will complete task 172, which says backport task 1 to RTC 3011. We've set up a repository workspace flowing with RTC 3011, and we have no incoming or outgoing change sets. We can click on task 1 to see the change sets that we need to backport. In this case, we need to backport 5 change sets, so we can go ahead and accept them. This dialog indicates that there was a gap, or that I do not have all the change sets which led up to the change sets trying to be accepted. In order to continue, we will have to merge each change set that has a gap. The merging of these change sets can be completed in the gap editor, which will open up automatically after an accept. In the gap editor, even though we have chosen to accept five change sets, only one change set with a gap can be merged at a time. This dialog is telling us that the changes were auto-resolved for the first change set. The current merge page allows us to merge in the changes from the source change set into a new resulting change set. If we switch over to the merge queue page, we can see the other four change sets in a queue waiting to be accepted. These change sets can only be accepted once the current merge is completed. Since all the changes were auto-resolved, we can go ahead and complete the resulting change set. Please note, I really should be giving the resulting change sets a comment as well as associating them to task 172. However, I'll be skipping these steps in this demo. We are also going to link the source change set and the resulting change set upon completion. In this confirmation dialog, we can also see that it detects that there are change sets in the merge queue and will offer to automatically accept those change sets upon completion. Merges will be required if additional gaps are encountered during the accept. We can see that another change set had a gap and all the changes could be auto-resolved. We can remind ourselves that there were four change sets in the merge queue. In this example, the first change set accepted cleanly and the second one resulted in a gap. If we switch over to the merge queue page, we can confirm that there are two change sets remaining. Now let's continue the backporting process. Since all the changes are auto-resolved, we can go ahead and complete the resulting change set. The next change set will also have a gap. And in this case, all the changes will auto-resolve as well. We can click on the Merge Queue tab and confirm that there is one more change set that will later have to be accepted. The comment of the source change set that we are trying to accept is merges. Therefore, we can imagine a scenario where this change set actually contains merges from a different fix or feature, and those changes are not directly related to the work item that we are trying to backport. A user could open the content, for example, to verify that the changes do not have to be backported. So in this case, let's click Discard instead of Complete. When discarding, the user could choose to discard the current merge and all change sets in the merge queue. Or they could choose to discard it, but requeue it at the front of the merge queue. This will allow them to completely redo the merge at a later time. However, in this case, we simply want to discard the resulting change set. We can click Yes to accept the last change set. This last change set has no gap and will accept cleanly. Therefore, the gap editor will automatically close as no merging is required. We can now deliver the four change sets that we backported. We can see the two change sets that accepted cleanly, and we can see the two change sets that were created in the gap editor. We can now deliver all four change sets to the stream. Now let's select the five original change sets from task one and select locate change sets. We can add the RTC 3011 stream by clicking add workspaces and flow targets shown in the pending changes view. As expected, four or five change sets are included. Two included directly and two included indirectly. We can hover over the result icon to get additional information. This can show the change sets that are included directly and the change sets that are marked as included indirectly, as well as the one change set that was not included.